I mean, I'm gonna make the bed. Will you get in the shower now? Uh-huh. All right. Oh, do you remember, do you remember Sally from New Hampshire? She's gonna be getting a brand new car. Like they already have two cars, a brand new car. She called Gretchen. I don't know what color car to get. And, and they're gonna be, oh my goodness. I don't think, have we ever, no, we've never had a brand new. Are you listening to me? Uh-huh. So anyways, you know, it's nice for her, but, um, and they're giving the old car to their daughter, just like giving it to her. Like she hasn't have to work for it or anything. Just, they are, they're going to spoiling the kids. So, hey, are you listening? He never listens to, whatever. I'm just make the bed. Oh my gosh. So. I'm sitting here looking at this clock and think of this as a representation of the time you have in your life. And as you were looking at that video that we had this morning with Gretchen, which is pretty funny, I think, um, she was doing what? A lot of complaining. And, and here's the thing about complaining. It's so destructive to your future. It does nothing to put you in a place of walking out God's calling in your life, walking out love, being kind and concerned for other people, and being kind and concerned for yourself or perhaps your marriage relationship. Complaining is so destructive because of this. Our brain wants to believe what we're saying. And so when we're complaining, we are actually declaring out loud negativity. We're declaring out loud destruction for other people or ourselves. And so one of the things we'll talk about in the calling is what to do with that complaining. It needs to be transformed. Underneath the complaining is always a longing for something, something to be different. Or it's a request that needs to be verbalized, authentic communication. So we look forward to sharing more about this. And I'm telling you, if you come to the calling class, sign up as a couple, and we'll teach you more about some of these distinctives, get complaining out of your life. It has no place. It doesn't bring you to the future that you want, nor does it increase the kingdom of God it collapses into self, it collapses into destruction. And that's not what God wants. Join us for the class. Go to our website and sign up. March 21st, it starts. Take care.